Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to cover terraform refresh command. This command is quite confusing for so many people and uh, with this video, I want to clarify the behavior of terraform refresh command. Right now, I have terraform code for creating VPC. It's already created this vpc is already created now let's go to aws console and make changes manually to this vpc java home is the vpc name go to tags click on manage tags let me add a tag with key department and the value trainings now vpc is updated manually using aws console what terraform refresh command does it takes latest changes from the remote that is from aws and updates the state file accordingly before running refresh command let's have a look at state file open state file and uh, we have two tags but in the remote we have three i added one more tag manually from the console let's run terraform refresh and again let's come back to this file and see what happens i am running terraform refresh this command takes the changes in the remote and uh, accordingly updates the state file if you notice the state file department is added to the state file that is the behavior of refresh command to repeat refresh command takes latest changes in the remote and updates the state file accordingly but if I run apply, let's see what happens. Running apply will remove that change in the state file. Why? Because according to the code, we should have only two tags. That is what Terraform is trying to do. And if you see here, it is removing the department tag from the state file and also it is going to remove this department tag in the remote if you wish to have this department tag then we must do this under tags include it Let me cancel this process and do Terraform apply again. Let's see what it's going to produce. It says no changes required. Why? Because state file is updated as per the changes we made manually and same changes we added in the Terraform script. That's why it says no changes. To summarize, Terraform refresh takes latest changes from the remote object and updates the state file accordingly. And remember, refresh will not make any changes to the remote object. Its job is to update only the state file. If you want to retain those changes, change your code as well accordingly so the changes will be retained. Thank you.